All right, folks, here we are for the weekend game. And uh, for those of you that uh, kind of waited a few weeks to get in, I hope you see your name there ready to play this week. Uh, I loaded probably about uh, 20 or 30 names into into the tournament uh, list this week. So once you sign up once, guys, you're signed up forever. It'll be there every weekend. And if you haven't signed up yet, go to that address you see in the description and or right here on our results page over here. You'll see bridgelesson.com slash weekend games. And you will see that uh, we are playing bridge every weekend. Myself, a bunch of other pros, and a whole bunch of other people playing these same boards every week and then watching this video afterwards right here on YouTube. So here we are, folks, first board. And a common rule, right, when we have a five-card major, when we're 15 to 17, we open one no trump. In fact, when we're 17, usually we're going to still open the major, but we're going to bid two no trump next, right? So we're going to treat these as balanced hands, and this is a balanced hand, so we open one no trump. We see our partner transfer, and then they bid three clubs. This is an important thing also, folks. This is always forcing the game. Recognize that after transfers and even stamen, a new suit at the three level is just, okay, I have a natural position in this suit, and I have a good hand. And I've already shown you five hearts because I've transferred you into hearts, right? This transfer is always at least five, and now we know it's exactly five, right? It's five cards in the heart suit and usually at least four clubs, and it tends to show an unbalanced hand. Here we just bid three hearts, and this uh, this apparently shows some sort of maximum here, and our four heart would show a minimum. We don't really have extra value, so that's why I'm going to bid four, four hearts, and look, look at this. We had two fits here. We had a fit in spades and in hearts. Here, this is all going to be about what shakes out in this spade suit, basically. Uh, take your free finesse, folks. When they lead a low club, you have to play the 10 here just to make sure you see this, right? If the queen is going to pop out, it's going to pop out now, and now you've created the jack as a trick. But also, if they don't play the queen, you've now taken this 10 as a trick. So you have to play the 10 to get this right. And now you have an extra trick later. When we have a very long side suit, right? We have an eight-card side suit here. We should be worried about them developing roughs in that suit. So we want to get in a little bit of a hurry to draw trumps, and that's what we're doing now. We're playing a heart right away. Here comes a spade. Interesting. They lead a low spade, too. It's kind of weird. Uh, usually we would finesse for the 10 here, and we're going to. And now, let's see, will they lead a spade? They won't. The little heart uh, will win in our hand. And now we will cross over to dummy and take another spade finesse, right? So here, notice the first spade finesse I took was for, <laughs> so they were both losing. There was king, jack, fourth. They could have gotten a rough there, but then they would have had to surrender the king position. So this is kind of a trading of tricks for them. Uh, I can give them that now or later. I can't pitch it on anything, but the rest are all mine now. Now we'll be in four hearts making four. And let's take a look at that result stream over there. If we could have done anything differently, it doesn't look like it, right? We just have a couple of spade losers no matter what we do. Uh, I can pitch spades from my hand on clubs, but not enough of them. Right? So here, ooh, I'm not even, I, I, you can't see me on this page. This is, this is mysterious Rob here coming to you without the picture. Hang on a second, folks. All right, there I am. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, so uh, on this page here, we're just looking at the results. And yeah, here, th this is just all about that, <clears throat> that spades position, and it doesn't look like we have any possibility of taking an over trick unless they somehow want to lead one of those spades that would have been nice uh but they're not too nice to us here we're destined to make 10 tricks but happy to be playing in game on the first board for it's making four i would guess this would trend toward average ish uh in this game all right let's see on the next board interesting one diamond what would you do folks what did you do when you played this hand there's there's two options, right? This is a very good shape for a double, but it's also the correct values for a one no trump overcall, and that's what I'm going to default to here. Uh, look at this. I, I was going to say I hope I avoid a diamond lead, but I guess I didn't necessarily want to avoid a diamond lead. I wanted to avoid a spade lead, <laughs> the exact thing they led. But this is a nice hand to acquire information from. So before you start the play, Make sure you're figuring out what's going on around the table, especially when the opponents have done something constructive, right? Whether they've overcalled, opened the bidding, doubled. Here they've opened the bidding on our right. We, in fact, have 17 high card points, and the dummy has six. So that's 23. There's a 12 count over there on average, right? That's 35. 
which means this player has an average around five points. Now, this player could certainly have more points over here. We do happen to know that three points are in the left-hand opponent's hand, the queen, jack, and ten of spades, if this is a normal lead. So we, we shouldn't expect too much else to be in left-hand opponent's hand, is what I'm saying. So in this case, we're going to play low. Um, I'm going to play low here. I think the ace of spades is to my right, almost certainly. So I'm going to just let this spade play happen. And this is a, a hold-up play to some degree here. I'm going to pitch a diamond over here. And there's that ace of spades. And now do they clear spades? They do. And here I can hop up with the king. Now, and here's the logic. If they're 5-3, meaning left-hand opponent had five spades, I've already disrupted their communication, right? This is East's last spade. And if they're 4-4, four, four, they're breaking evenly. And I am not going to be in trouble in this suit at all. Um, hmm. Or I'm going to lose one trick anyway. One exactly. I'm tempted to keep a long club over there. But what do I need? This is one trick. I have one ace and diamonds that's three so we'll i guess we'll try to take our our heart tricks here um so the queen of hearts is probably more likely to be on our right um yeah I, i'm gonna do that i'm gonna play a heart to the ace and the jack of hearts we've already we know three points are to our left so oh my god so bad all right i guess uh well, I guess we have to let. I guess we have to hope spades are four four. Because we, we're we're gonna let this slide to create another heart trick. And here is it four four spades. Ooh, good. It didn't matter what we did. Nice. All right now, what do they do? All right, they just clear out hearts here. They're gonna leave us with an interesting choice here. But we're just gonna we're gonna put pressure on East in this point. Um, I guess we'll pitch a diamond here. See what they do. All right, they pitched a diamond. And here we can play the ace of clubs. Interesting. King of clubs. I guess we're just going to take our seven tricks and see what shakes out here. The king shook out there. I guess that, that's a good club and and uh, and a good diamond over there. <laughs> there it is, folks. All right. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. We'll take it. We'll take a plus score in this case, overcalling kind of a shaky one no trump. I wonder what happens if you double on this hand. I bet you we'll see it in the results stream on Sunday. So uh, here, notice the shape is ideal for a double, right? We have two here, we have four, four in the majors. But we do have 17 solid points. And if you think about the double, double is going to show like an opening hand or better. So like 12, some 11 sometimes, plus points. And this shape, whereas the no trump bid is just, okay, I'm a little higher in this and I have a tighter range and I'm balanced, right? So this is showing your hand well. You're frequently going to find your way to a major suit fit here when partner has the capability of bidding and or transferring. You have a super accept to any major suit transfer. So it's okay to overcall one no trump even with a small. The times where I avoid overcalling or bidding no trump with a small in a suit is when I know someone has an extraordinary length. Like a, a or like singleton ace is, is a terrible stopper usually when you know someone's preempted somewhere. But here when they open a diamond, you're not as worried with a small and certainly it's such a good description of your hand here. But double might have produced, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I wonder if left hand opponent would bid a heart if it went double. And then what does north do? <laughs> Maybe they bid a no trump. I don't know. Uh, I guess we will definitely see and I, I wish in hindsight that I finessed hearts correctly. Um, and there's that five points. Look at that. They, right, he did have exactly 12 points, which they need to have for the Queen of Hearts to be wrong for us. And, and there it is. So we, we, we gave a good average and a good number over there. We should have stuck to our guns. But the thing is, it could be a jack, right? It could be a jack of clubs over there for only four points. Who knows? It was a guess. We had the wrong guess, unfortunately. Um, but we still took seven tricks. So we'll take it. And now we, here we are on number three. Look at this nice 5-5 five, five hand, 13 points. We open the higher ranking suit always, no matter what situation we're in. And we're going to bid naturally here. Our partner bids two spades. Great. Hmm. What will we do here? What's What What are these bids? Are they, they're starting cue bids at the three level. So so this is actually very good for beginners, right? If if I I, I know experts are going to disagree with this, but, but just hear me out. For beginners, the, the way I like to teach this, and beginners, I mean people that have gotten to a point where they've seen the, the necessity of a control bid, right? Or the necessity of making a call that shows 
you know, the ability to play higher than or the desire to play higher than game and some sort of trick taking potential in that suit. Um, usually it's after a game force and a an agreed upon major suit fit, which we have here. Uh, most experts use the three level for more information gathering, and then the control bids were exi will exist at, above the three level of our suit. Um, the robot looks like they play it right here. So any bid by us would be something like that. Um, I mean, if we have 13 points, our partner has at most 13, but I mean, we could really picture a bunch of hands that they could have that would treat us well, especially a hand that has long trumps and short diamonds. But the problem is we know they only have three trumps. Uh, because they would have made a Jacoby Tuno trumpet in this case if they had more than three. So if we have to get rid of a lot of diamonds, that's not going to be too great. Um, so, I mean, I think we can just bid three spades. And that's the beauty of this. I'm not bidding four spades. right? I'm, I'm taking a slower approach to game. If I had a, the real worst of my worst hands, I would bid four spades. But here, if my partner wanted to do something, if they had extraordinary shape there, they might have said something else. And now I would start cooperating vigorously here. But uh, at this point, look at that. They just kind of have this balanced 13 count. And we, I guess, are reasonably happy to be here. We, we, we have... We have a lot of losers in our hand, let's put it that way. So at this point, I'm going to play low. And yeah, I was just, just going to say, I'm hoping they don't have the nine to my right, but there it is. But I know I'm going to be able to get rid of this club on that king of hearts over there. So I'm going to do that very quickly. And there it is. Here comes the king of hearts. There goes my losing club. And now, folks, this could be a fun hand. I'm going to try to just rough as many diamonds as I can. Uh, interesting. Did they lead away from the king of clubs? That's the question. I wonder. I'm not going to find out. Oh, they didn't. They had a stiff club. Even better. All right. Good job, robot. Now we have to... I mean, does this look like it's breaking? I wonder. No, but the queen of spades is out of the picture. I see now. Hmm. Well, they under roughed. Yeah, because they know they have a winning diamond, unfortunately. And now it's going to go this and this and that. I can't believe I made this. I'm pretty sure I could have taken about 13 different lines that were safer. <laughs> One of them being drawing Trump. Uh, but I don't know. We made it. Uh, let's take a look at how many I could have made initially. All right, so the club play is 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 fun, right? Th this is a hand where no one really bid anything from their side. So we really don't know what's going on. And it's, and honestly, it's impossible to figure out what the hell the robot's doing half the time anyway. But, but here it looks kind of normal-ish other than maybe I play the tennis clubs there, see if I can split one of those honors. But here it didn't matter at all. Ace of hearts, I get to get rid of a club. And then all right, I'm just trying to kind of set up either diamonds where I can trump them in dummy or set them up just by trumping one of them. And now they break 3-3. And here comes the disaster play, right? So now I'm kind of winning in this spot, though. I drew trump from the long hand, and then they drew a round of trump for me. So now I can rough this. And I could have probably roughed this high at some point. <laughs> but uh, uh, no, it didn't matter at, that, at, at this point, actually. If you take a look here... Uh, when I come back, I'm going to rewind this. It, it really doesn't make any difference, right? I have to lose at some point. And then the rest are just history. It's funny that they under roughed on this. They must say, okay, I've had enough. And here we just have to make this last diamond good, right? And I know I don't really talk about it as I'm doing it, but this is just counting. And it's more for me at this point, it's recognizing the shapes that I need, right? So when I when it doesn't, doesn't break evenly, 3-3, three, three, I saw them both follow to two of them, so it's 4-2, right? So when there's six missing, it's either a perfect 3-3, three, three, but if they both follow to two and it doesn't break then, 4-2. If it's 5-1, it's terrible, but you'll realize that even earlier. So here it's just kind of recognizing that pattern over and over again and knowing that that diamond isn't quite good and I have to get rid of it somehow. Um, okay, here we are. Look at this. Is that a solid 18? Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, we'll open a diamond. And ooh, what do you do, folks? Make your bid. You open a diamond, partner bid a heart. You have this nice 18 count. Make your choice. How many of you bid two no Trump? Who did it? Who bid two no Trump? Hey, I'm going to bid 
one of a minor, and then I'm going to rebid two no trump. Or at least that's what you think before you make your bid. You you think, okay, this is that 1819 hand. So I open one of a suit, and then I rebid two no trump, and there I get to show 1819. But your partner showed hearts. There's your 19 point bid right there, right? Your partner bid only one heart, right? They showed four cards and six plus points. You are saying with your four heart bid, hey partner, I hear you have six plus points and four hearts. I have enough to play game and I have a fit for your hearts, right? So if you were planning on rebidding two no trump and they happen to bid a major that you have four of, you absolutely bid four hearts almost always or four of that major almost always because then you have found your way to the correct game, which is your major suit game. All right, we have a lot of work to do here. We definitely are gonna have to play some hearts early. They led diamonds, which makes me think it's shortness, right? So here, I guess we'll take a, like a false guess here. Oh, we, we, they, we didn't have to fool them. They didn't even lead a diamond there. All right, uh, now we have to guess this one. We played low to the king and it lost to the ace. Now we play low to this. Interesting. I would say if East was short in diamonds, they would certainly have longer hearts. So, okay, we're wrong again. Nice. Can we get more things wrong? Is it possible? I don't know. Lead a spade? Oh, no spade by them. All right. We will now take this. All right. Very good. It didn't matter. It was ace-jack third to, that, uh, to the wrong side. So if our play was not mattering at all. Let's see what was going on in diamonds. All right. The length was to our right. And they're pitching a spade over there. And now we're down to our last chance here. We have to take a spade finesse, and it wins. Boom, we'll take it. That means that king of spades is on side, and it always was. We rip off 10 tricks, and it looks like we just have two hearts and a club loser pretty much every single day of the week. They, I was just about to say they haven't been too crazy of a hand recently, and then this came. Wow. Seven hearts and five diamonds mm. and a singleton club, and they open a spade to our right. I have so many things I want to do with this hand. Part of me just wants to bid six hearts and hope partner has an ace in a minor suit. <laughs> I mean, that that's honestly one of the first things I think of. Uh, Part of me wants the Michaels and bid again, even though the, the my, my partner is going to think that's uh, – that's a huge hand. This is a huge hand, right? But I have ace, king, queen, seventh of hearts. So I, I tell you what, I'm going to double, and then I'm just going to bid hearts. And, ooh, there's a splinter bid. We like to see that, four spades. So now I'm going to bid five hearts. And this is what I'm hoping for, honestly. I almost think I should redouble, to be honest. But if partner has a yard barrel, I'm going to really hate myself. And there's the yard barrel, right? So, uh, wow, I'm still going to make this sucker, though. <laughs> I have lots of interest in that hand. I'm going to rough, uh, let's see, we have seven of these, so I'm going to rough super high. I'm going to draw one round of Trump, I hope, only one. Actually, I don't care. <laughs> uh, now I only have two entries to that hand. That's okay. And my two entries are, oh, they pitched a diamond. Okay, well, we'll take that. We'll take that. I should have redoubled. Uh, I'm going to lose out to any of those uh, those other pros that re rewind this sucker. Uh, this is this type of hand that you want to be able to do that with, actually. They, they've kind of fallen into a trap. They can't suspect that you have this ridiculous of a hand. So here I'm just going to claim. We're going to go plus 850, and I'm going to I'm gonna look up after this what five hearts redoubled would be. And we'll, I guess we'll see what my score is like. I'm playing this, I don't know, late afternoon on Friday, and I've been uh, – I, I also fumbled the uh, the snap on the uh, on the video this week for the weekly challenge, so I'm going to be rerunning that uh, uh, right after this, I think. But uh, at, at this point, I'm I'm happy to have a plus 850 on the card. And even though partner did have a Yarbrough, the fact that they had four of those hearts was just amazing, and three diamonds really. We just had fitting cards in those minor suits. I'm oh, sorry, my minor suit and that major card. So it's an amazing hand where it looks like. My goodness, it looks like they're cold for seven spades. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Look at that, folks. They're, they have five clubs, five spades, the ace of diamonds, and plenty of roughs, right? They can take two heart roughs and dummy, three, two heart, two diamond roughs in their hand. So is that 13? Yeah, yeah. That's, wow, that's pretty amazing. We're playing 
and we're playing in five hearts double. I guess we shouldn't have redoubled. We don't want to convince them to bid spades again. So we didn't give them a chance to to run to their best contract, which was five spades doubled me or five spades making seven. <laughs> wow. Okay, we'll take that 850. We're not worried about it. Ooh, nice no Trump hand. Let's dance here. One no Trump. I like one no Trump. I, I know a lot of you see this and get kind of like, oh, man, this is going to be terrible. And I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it might be. It is a tough contract. It's the it's a feared contract for a reason. But here these are these are situations where we're all just about trying to get to seven, right? We've taken one so far in hearts. Hearts isn't looking good for us in the future. Clubs looks good for three, and we have the ace of diamonds. Clubs might look good for four. So if we can get three clubs for four, the ace of diamonds for five, and that extra club, that's six. Um, what can they take? Well, they have at least three spade winners. They have however many hearts they're gonna take maybe three or four. Um, so they might just be able to set us immediately once they get in. So I'm going to roll the dice in clubs. And this is, we're hoping to see a short jack or we're just hoping to see it break 3-3. Three, three. And neither was the case for us here. So now the question is, do we now abandon this and, and do something else? And I think we probably do at this point. And here's the reason. I, I think we're always going to take this ace of diamonds. I'm not too worried about that. Um, what I am worried about is I've just set up another club for them, which could be bad. I don't necessarily know if I want to be the one leading spades, but I, I certainly don't want to lead um, a diamond at this point because that might be one of our extra tricks later. So here we'll just protect our spades. The heart pitch is interesting. All right, we'll win that. That's five tricks, and now we'll try to create a diamond trick. All right, and there it is. Wow, they, they gave it to us. Amazing. And now we'll, we'll try to back into a spade trick if they're willing. Can't imagine they would be. Man, the Queen of Hearts is doing us no good whatsoever. And there it is. Okay. So we'll take down one here. Um, That is the most normal one no Trump opening bid you can imagine. I mean, I wouldn't do anything differently on this hand. Uh, I have a 16 count. And I'm balanced. The, the double dummy will show you it's down one or down two, depending on what the heck you do. Uh, the club lead ends up being very safe. Let me take these numbers away. The, the club lead might look unsafe, right, from from this into a strong hand, but everything looks unsafe from this hand. But the ace, king, queen just has no chance to take advantage of this lead, so you're always going to get those tricks. Right? It's a very fun hand to look at, and it looks like, I mean, yeah, West had a very good hand, and East had nice sources of tricks as well. Sometimes I just think the robots are cheaters. <laughs> Look at that lead. It's so good, right? The jack of hearts from their short heart position partner is ace 10 fifth. What the heck, man? Good job, Mr. Robot. I can't I can't hate. You're you've been good to us. All right, so take a ooh, look at this next hand. Ten cards in the minors. Let's start with a diamond. Here, when I have minor suits, I'm okay showing all my suits, right? So now they bid two spades, which is fourth suit forcing. And now I'm gonna show natural diamonds, I hope. Partner bids three no, very happy. We're hoping this is a misfit or we just have lots of tricks. And it looks like the latter is the case. Um, we're gonna take this king of spades and we're gonna hope that diamonds are breaking. And they are. Oh, it's gonna be a fun hand to play now. So now we're just gonna take a whole bunch of diamonds and sit back and watch. And then we're gonna mess around with some clubs probably. And then we're gonna mess around with some hearts. All right, so I'm gonna pitch spades over here for now um i think i am going to cash a club first and i'm going to unblock and now i'm going to go over okay all right so we see i should not have unblocked apparently so now i'm going to play this we're going to pitch a heart pitch a club and then we're going to take a heart finesse that's the best i can do on this one when i screw up the club play <laughs> so i think i think we're going to see some people going plus 720 on that one um because if i if i just play the ace of clubs and play low now i can play a low club to the king and then put the ten of clubs on the table uh, i don't know why i did that i just kind of took for granted that this was going to be breaking and I could have a, a weird entry at the end here maybe playing a heart to the hand later and then finding a way I don't know I'm just I'm too 
I'm too I'm too dumb for that. Basically, <laughs> I'm trying to do something smart, and it just was not gonna work out for me on that one. So here, I feel feeling silly after that, but that's okay. It's a bridge. Uh, wow. Oh, let's let's slow down here. Oh, let's slow down here. What are we doing, partner? Oh my God. Okay, folks. Here's the rule: if you redouble. If you start with a redouble, okay, and then you double afterwards, that is penalty. Should be. Uh, not for our partner, unfortunately. Uh, we probably have to bid three no Trump now because our partner just kind of didn't let us play two spades doubled. I mean, I don't care what they have over there. It's just it makes me sick. Um, and now we're probably not getting to dummy to take any of those clubs. No, oh, it's just amazing. Lead a diamond for us. Actually, I'm sorry. We have a hard entry over to dummy. So we will do that now. <laughs> there it is. And now they can do whatever, and we'll just jump over there. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll look at and see what uh, what the eventuality would have been with, uh, I think we can claim now. We have all those. Even the top clubs are enough for us, East King Queen. We don't need the rest of them. Um, don't love it. Don't love it. Let's see what my score is going to be as far as the uh, um, the provisional. I think the last two are just going to be bad. And I want to look at this last one as well. So I'm, let me just hang on for a result here. Uh, I had a chance at a good one. I just couldn't couldn't get out of my own way. Um, the last two are just bad, right? This one. I mean, not bad. Fifty-eight point six. I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not upset with that. But I'm. I guarantee seven twenty would be a heck of a lot better. I don't think we're. We're not going to be playing in a slam on this hand, right? Especially when it appears to be such a misfit, or at least from my perspective. So we're happy to be in three no Trump. But it's just. It's an easy. It's an easy hand to get right in that situation, especially the way I played it. It would have been much easier to get right. Uh, happy with most of the results. Like here, board four, th this is the one, uh, and, and you'll notice this is the one I said this is probably going to be very average. Look at this board, right? One diamond, one heart, four hearts, right? It doesn't. It, there might be some people in three no Trump, I suppose. Maybe that's why this is kind of low. Um, I believe maybe the one earlier is the one that's kind of the most normal. Spade, two clubs, two diamonds. Yeah, that's pretty normal as well. Um, so I'm, I don't, I like these scores, right? I'm happy, happy, happy. And then board seven could have made an over trick. And then board eight, let's just look at this. Um, I'm not sure how we get them. I'm not sure how we get to play for penalty, folks. So, so my dub, my redouble, or the reason I redoubled, and I didn't necessarily explain it because I was playing relatively quickly there. I, I'm looking to penalize them. Look at my hand. My best suits are all of their suits. And I know my partner opened the bidding, and I have a 14 count. So we have all the values, and I happen to have all the cards and the suits that they are showing. So this is a situation that if we get to draw Trump, we get to just own their soul on this hand at some point. right? So it's very, very important that, for the most part, we recognize that after that redouble, double is penalty. Now. I can see the North Hands issue, right? They have solid seven card club suit and King X of Diamonds, which doesn't look too great either. However, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I, it's okay to bid two clubs, I think. But then when it goes two spades double and partner clearly makes their intentions, I don't know what you do there. I mean, it's hard to bid three clubs. But once that happens, I wished I'd bid three hearts. It was still going to be forcing. The problem with three hearts is, folks, and you might see people doing that. That's why the, the, the score is, is kind of close to being below average here. Um, this is a spot where if I bid three hearts, partner's going to bid four, and we're going to get there. Whereas if I... If partner doesn't have three hearts, what will they do when they don't have a spade stopper, which I'm pretty sure they don't, right? Holding this. 
So the problem with bidding three hearts is if partner doesn't have a spade stopper, they don't know enough or the robot at least won't know enough to kind of temporize with some sort of three spade bid, right? They'll just bid four clubs. And that's the problem that, that you're going to have on this hand if you redouble and you see this action, right? Double for me is was just I want to defend two spades so badly. I'm just going to lead a diamond or something and, and just sit back and wait for my tricks. Or maybe I just lead a low spade. That was another thing I'm considering pretty much immediately. Just get that trump out there and take our tricks. But when partner bids three clubs, now we're in a weird spot. Right, especially knowing that the robot is is reticent to kind of do the right thing and, and clip off um, three spades when it might be right, they'll just bid four clubs and now we'll, we're past three no trump when we know it's good because we have all the stoppers in our hand. So here, unfortunate lay of the uh, the cards, and then the opening lead is just kind of okay. We know the spade is coming, and we know we're we're well stopped in these suits. The problem is we, we don't have any entry to dummy over there. We don't have any entry to dummy, and looks like. At this point, once they lead a spade, we just have to, okay, we can pitch that diamond. And notice the reason I can pitch that, folks, is just I I have it protected. I have the queen in my hand, and I know I'm going to set up those clubs in just a second. And there it is, and I'm setting up all my hearts right now as well. So the eight of hearts, I overtake it with the nine just in case they decided to duck. I'm guaranteed that I'm going to win it now and be able to start playing clubs, or I'm going to win it the next time. The problem with this one is once they do that, they have the ability to cash that ace of diamonds, but now they can't do anything else to hurt us, and that's just making four. I would guess that the the bigger scores are probably in hearts, and hearts makes a whole bunch of tricks because that club suit just gets to gets to do a lot of work on this hand, and you have an entry to that dummy to take a hard finesse, right? So there's lots of ways to get over there in this contract, whereas in, in hearts, I mean, because you can just rough a spade. In no trump, the only way over to that dummy, knowing the ace of diamonds, is behind this card. And that's how I know it, folks. This person doubled. There are no points left in this deck, right? 14 for us, 12 for partner, and they doubled. The ace of diamonds is 100% in the east hand. So this, you might have said, that's an entry, no chance because we know what the, where the points are. So this is our only chance. All right, folks. Uh, I mean, I can't, I can't hate my results so far in the last few weeks. It's gone like 70, 60-something, and this is a little improvement. And honestly, it's one of the first tournaments I've played in a while where at this point of playing it, I'm above 50 on every board, so I'll take that. But uh, these last two, I should have been, you know, whatever percentage gain here to get me to uh, above 64. But thanks a lot for watching, folks. And once again, if you haven't played in this yet and you want to sign up, just uh, follow the link that's in the description of this, and you can play every week. All right, guys, see you later.